So how okay, come so you, you were refunding 8 billion naira? I mean, over 8 billion naira, because some people say, well, it means that the Senate was justified. If at the end of the day, an alarm was raised, you which you say was legitimate, uh, and perhaps rightly so, an alarm was raised and they have been able to recover 8 billion naira, which shouldn't have been with you. Okay. First point, 8 billion was not recovered from system specs. What happened, like I said, was that from March, transactions had started building, but gradually, until around September, October. And by October 23rd, I got a call from the CBN governor that um, we would need to return all the fees that had been earned um, for the collection platform, uh, which came to, at that point was about 7.6 billion. Okay. And um, I explained to him that, look, 50% of it is with us. The remaining 50% has been distributed to the banks and CBN. So they eventually wrote us that we should give a shadow, refund our own portion, and then they would debit the banks and CBN themselves for the balance. So what system specs re returned was $3.8 billion then the balance of 3.8 billion was recouped from the 20 commercial banks and central bank. Why did okay. System Specs refund this money? Thank you, you very much. If you felt you deserved to earn your keep. Thank you very much. You know, we operate in an industry that is regulated by the central bank. The central bank governor calls me and says, return this money. At that point in time, the Office of the Accountant General, since September 14th, had said they have concerns about the fees. Immediately he said they had concern with the fees. We wrote back on September 16 that we are open to renegotiation, but please call all the parties, because it was all the parties that agreed these figures before. That was on September 16. October 7, we wrote another letter and said in our project rep uh, uh, update report that look, we need to resolve this issue of fees. Let's have another meeting to agree on the fees. Nothing happened until two weeks later when the CBN governor instructed very firmly that this money must be returned. At that point in time, we had two options. <coughs> legal rights, we have a legal option, or to consider it as a business problem. We chose to consider it as a business problem, not a legal problem. Considering it as a legal problem could mean we insist we're not returning the money, we go to court and argue our case out. We, we have, the contract papers are very clear. Okay. However, looking at it as a business problem, we're in a regulated industry. CBN is regulating us. Okay. We also know that this thing can be discussed. Return the money, create an atmosphere for us to be able to discuss. And that is what we're able to do now. At least now, everybody listening to the story, we have our contract papers, we can talk. If we had chosen not to return the money, the atmosphere would have been more tense for us, and we would not even be in a position to give the kind of explanation now. The way it came out, for instance, oh, one company has collected 25 billion in one day, a lot of emotions have been whipped up. Okay, but when people realize that it was 3.8, and we have even returned it, it sort of created an atmosphere to, for us to even be able to talk. And so you believe it. that you'll get your money back? If they renegotiate By this... God's grace, we, we, if you re renegotiate this contract, is it going to be backdated? Those are some of the things to be negotiated. When we said we are open to negotiation, we are looking, we were more interested in going forward. And we thought this negotiation would have happened, you know, a little earlier. Going forward, we can agree a new rate. We might insist that going, I mean, for the past period that we've delivered the service, then it is only fair that contracts are respected. You see, this, this is not just about system specs. It's about even the government itself. When you, you enter into a contract, halfway through, you now use what you may call government bully power, you know, to just change the rules. It's not right. It, it, it doesn't speak well for government. But how much okay. have you collected so far? Total collection for government, as at the last time I 
checked will probably be about 1.4 trillion. Okay. When was the last time you checked? Maybe Pick. about a week now. 1.4 trillion? Yes. From what now, time? Now, from that October 24th, we stopped charging. Okay. So we've been collecting additional income for government. We're not charging. We're waiting for a resolution of this matter before we... Are you confident that the Senate Pro panel will be able to do justice to what it is that they're seeking? Well, I believe, you know, the Senate are made up of seasoned people uh, and um, they also have the interest of the country at heart. So we've presented the facts to them and they are looking at all the sides to see what's the best way to move forward. Some people have also imputed political considerations into it. Do you think that there's anything political about what's happening? Well, I mean, we are a professional services firm and um, we just focused on doing our technical job. We're happy it has done Nigeria good. Yes, at some point, people come up with all sorts of political twists. Um, at one point, it was, a, it was uh, the previous administration that signed this contract. Some people insinuated that that means I must be long to a PDP or something. On the other hand, the other faction said um, it was this new administration that signed the contract. Therefore, we must be fronting for some individuals or what have you. So, Either way, but we, we've tried to stay below the political radar. So there's no, truth sure. to any of the, there's no truth to any of the uh, postulations that have been put up about your company? Absolutely not. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you must have had the joke about the name Remita, for instance. I, I don't want to go in the air on what that <laughs> is supposed to mean. But obviously, these are just wild imaginations of people. Let me take you a little back, because right. a, I want to take it out of this discussion. But before yes. we go out of it, a, a very quick one. You were, you, were, you were charging 100 naira per transaction when you were paying out. Yes. 100 naira per million. Yeah. Why didn't you think about doing that kind of charge to collect? You see, collections is a different ball game. It inv involves even more parties. Like, take for instance, card payments. If you want to pay with it, you go to a restaurant today, you swipe your card. It's the, 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 the merchant, the, the restaurant owner, does not get the full value that you are paying. There's a transaction fee. So there are world, worldwide standards for collections. Collections generally are treated as percentage, percentages. You can debate what that percentage should be. And incidentally, in Nigeria, you have percentages that can range from maybe 0 0.03 or something up to 10%. Can you go as low as 0 0.03? On this particular transaction, mm. maybe not. Clearly not. Okay, there's this other matter that, that's, come, that's in, the, in the news space about NITDA wanting to um, fine you for housing national data outside the shores of Nigeria. You see, it's all part of the syndicated attack, okay, <clears throat> that look, find a way of just hitting Remita from all angles. Because one of the first questions you would even want to ask is, even the NIDA itself, where is their website hosted? So do you think that 1% is too much a charge? Personally, no. But you're willing, to, for, you're willing to go through a downward negotiation? We're willing to negotiate, but 1% is not what is high. What became high was the sudden amounts, the principal amounts, the, the residual amounts which were in the banks, which were moved at once. Because they were moved at once, then the 1% appears very high. Otherwise, the kind of fees that are being paid, maybe you're arrested by road safety, 5,000 naira fine, 3,000 naira fine. What is 1%? 30 naira, 50 naira, to be shared by all the parties in the value chain. So the 1% is not what is high. Did they imagine that they were going to get the kind of revenue they were getting? You see, like I said, it's not even so much the revenue. It's, it was the sitting balances that moved at once. Because if you're moving maybe 100 million at once, 1% becomes 1 million. That raises an alarm. But this same 100 million, if it was spread across 5,000, 5, collected by different players, different bank branches, for instance, 1% is not the issue. Fixing this, uh, what would you suggest? We continue to talk. Uh, with the, the, the government, the executive and the Senate, I mean, and the National Assembly, and arrive at what 
it's a win-win uh, situation. In fairness, that process was already ongoing. In fact, a meet, there, there was a meeting that was fixed one day, which was aborted because the accountant general was called to the villa. Okay. And then it was to be rescheduled. It was before it was rescheduled that the Senate angle came in. And um, a subsequent meeting has been fixed. Hopefully, maybe next week, we we'll sit down and talk again to look at possible models going forward. John Obara, Managing Director, System Specs. Many thanks for speaking with us. And we'll stay on this and see how it unfolds. Thank you very much.